Welcome to episode three of putting disc brakes on an old steel bicycle frame. We're doing the front uh, wheel today, adding a tab on the fork. Uh, we just started by seeing if this little tab that we already had is usable. It's, I don't know what it's made for, but it's an odd shape. So we cut off one of the legs and we're gonna flip it backwards on itself. And then hopefully with this, It'll be uh, good to use, so we're gonna give it a go. Enjoy. Seconds. Just taking off the burrs, that's all. Okay, we're just gonna like vaguely mark out where to weld this back. And you can kind of see why we're doing this, to miss this part. And on our last one, these were brazed on. It's probably the same on this. It is the same, you can, you can see there's no weld. Okay, the tack is a lot of it. Just do a quick tack on the other side. So this piece of paper on top is just like a template. I put the caliper on the rotor and then traced the line from the fork in a couple different places just to see which one lines up best with what we have pre-existing and lets us keep the most amount of material. And it's the middle one. This one's a bit too far away and the plate is too short. You can see when I bend it, but when I bend it over, there's metal here and metal here. So we're just gonna trim it up to that line. And I'm just gonna use the paper as a, a guide first and then I'll take the paper off and we'll do the full cut. A bit. You can see that gap down there is going to be a bit too big. So I think that means we need to grind into both of them a hair bit more. We'll uh, mark that off and cut it. Thanks, Harry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess we probably could have just done that to begin with. Instead of the papers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, it looks like we need to grind off the lower one quite a bit, actually. I think we're close half now. But I'm just going to try to use the file. Okay, that feels really nice. Locked and loaded. Let's go weld this up. Do you want me to like hold the bike? It's tacked on very lightly. Let's take the wheel off and weld it on. <laughs> yeah, I just electrocuted the shit on myself because of the high frequency start. <laughs> Did 
Did you clamp? Uh, yeah, that's why. Whew. How bad? Like the electrocution? Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, it's not bad at all. It's like a very common thing. All pros do it all the time. I don't know if pros do it, but... Definitely amateurs. Definitely amateurs. I like to shoot this up all the time. Like chilly though, not with the 100 amps or something. That How was many just, amps did you just rock? I don't know what the high frequency... I don't know. Not enough to kill me, I guess. <laughs> Cause that's not the first time either, so. Okay, they're, they're properly ugly, I think. Okay, I don't know, maybe that's okay. Sometimes ugly things are okay. People like ugly. Yeah. Great work. Uh, I hope that stays on. Maybe we'll revisit it in a little while when we have a bit more time and add some more metal. Thanks. Thanks for watching.